Hey Internet, my name is Levi Warner, for those of you that don't know me. I, uh, I spend most of my time drawing, uh, I am a visual artist, I work predominantly with two-dimensional works of art, um, such as this guy here. This is actually the somewhat preliminary layer of a bigger project that I just completed. Um, this project is for a art show that is uh, coming up on the 14th of August. It's called North to the Future. It's opening Friday, August 14th, 2015 at Out North Contemporary Art House. Here's the flyer. Um, here's my pretty picture, internet. Here's my image. And I recorded the entire process of it being being made. You might be looking at this picture and be like, wow, that's that's pretty neat. That's, a, that's, that's pretty cool, man. Good job. Thank you, by the way. But, yeah, I want to show you why it's so cool. I'm gonna, I've compiled a video for you, starting from the pencil layer, all the way to what you see now. Yeah, just watch the video, man. Every single one of those lines is made with a fine tip, very fine tip. Not extra fine, but just regular fine. off the entirety of the structure. Um, this process is probably one of the most like grueling but also one of the more satisfying. Um, the grueling aspect comes from like I have to really control my hand pressure because if I get too uh, too heavy handed I start to cut into the paper and that just uh, that just fucks everything up. But um, yeah, but I, I, it's also really satisfying because it produces really, really clean edges. Uh, here I, uh, I'm beginning to use the Copic airbrush system to lay in the background for the piece. Uh, my thought process behind it was I wanted to use cooler colors and so I went in with uh, I think it was like a night blue, and yeah, I just, I went from light to dark throughout the, uh, that was my, uh, my thought process the whole time that I was doing this. Um, I threw some warmer colors at the bottom, um, yeah, yeah. Alright, now that... So this is the most satisfying part. Look at it. It's like a caterpillar emerging from its uh, its cocoon. And now comes the color. Oh, the colors! I wanted it to look like I was doing an underglow from beneath the structure. Um, but after lots of consideration and talking to other people about the piece and um, their interactions with the piece and just observing how they they respond to it, I decided to actually flip the image and I'm gonna hang it opposite to what you see now. But yeah, I decided to use cardinal honey and brown as my first layer of color panel by panel I get this job done
volume to the pieces. Because if you just use one color per panel, it's still going to look flat. Once you start to add more values, it's going to it's going to look three dimensional. As you can see, it's already starting to look like it's pushing into space. jumped ahead in time. how this came to be. What you just saw is how that happened, man. Art. Art is cool. But you know what else is cool? 